New at five, a break in a 23 year old unsolved murder case in Georgia leads police to the suspect in Phoenix. A woman is accused of killing her six year old son. And today she went before a judge to face charges for the decades old crime. Team 12's Nyella Charles was in court today and she joins us with the latest on the investigation and how it led to the valley. Nyella. William Hamilton's remains were found in Decatur, Georgia in 1999, but until recently, authorities had no way of identifying him, largely in part due the, to the fact that his mom never reported him missing. But a new tip linked him to his mother, who now lives in Phoenix. For years, we were unable to identify him. 23 years later, the six-year-old found dead in the woods of Decatur, Georgia, finally has a name, William Deshaun Hamilton to give him his name, to say his name, let alone seek justice. Wednesday, prosecutors announced his mother, 45-year-old Teresa Black, then Teresa Bailey, is charged with his murder. We believe that she left a cab almost immediately after William's death. The big break in the case came from a woman who never forgot about William. You never know when you're going to be that one person. It just takes one call. Officials say a woman who used to watch William in Charlotte, North Carolina, found it suspicious when his mother left for Atlanta and returned without him. For more than 20 years, she wondered what happened to William. For years, she continued to search the Internet for info on his whereabouts until she came across this rendered image of him in 2020. She made it her personal mission to find him. Because of the tip, authorities were able to confirm Black as his mother and identify him. Officers arrested her at her Phoenix apartment in June. She was just quiet, minded her own business. Black is accused of striking William in the head with an unknown object, not seeking medical treatment for him, and giving him a substance containing a pain reliever and antihistamine, causing his death. Today, William would have been almost 30 years old. In court today, Black had a calm demeanor and was in a wheelchair. Next, she'll be extradited to Georgia, where she is charged. Live in the studio, Nyla Charles, 12 News. Nyla, thanks.